Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another NTW3 battle. Hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, ready for some more clashes on the Napoleonic Theater. This is a clan battle. So, you know, you're in for a treat with some good players on each side, doing some strategies, working together in a VC. Um, so we are looking at the Rheinbund playing as the Imperial. And then the... Uh, LK, I believe. Maybe I'm getting them mixed up. No, I think maybe Reinbund was playing... Yeah, Reinbund playing Coalition and LK playing Imperial. I apologize. So screwed that up so quickly. I don't know how I did that. Of course, watch, I screwed it up still. Um, I do not know the points. Obviously, we just have the points on the Imperial side. So you have 7-point Bernadotte playing a Saxony, 11-point Yuzhin. Here in the pushing up in the center. Um, in the back, a Davu. And then a way, way back, I think. Oh, no, here. Apologies. Eight point Imperial Guard. Um, and yes, the ALK are playing as the Imperials and Rhino playing as the Coalition, which is Austria. Um, yeah, it's such an interesting, interesting uh, plays already. There's some interesting maps here. In fact, oh my gosh, hold that thought. We have cavalry charging in. Already on these poor musketeers, they didn't form a square. So much cavalry charging in already. Start off this battle, interesting enough. Saxony's just scrambling, they're getting mobbed by insane amount of cavalry. Obviously, they're trying to push up some of their own cav. Maybe it'd be defensive here as Austria just starts going in, trying to smack through these lines. Looks like some uh, some across here as well. Square does form. That's some Saxon infantry bravely holding up a square, trying to be defensive. This guy's like, can I get into this square, boys? Oh, do we got another charge? Oh my gosh, another one going for Saxons. Crossiers, the guard uh, crossiers going straight in with some hussars. Looks like maybe a flanking hussar from Austria as well. More infantry, though, pushing up some Grenadiers. Austria may not want to take this fight, quite honestly. Just make sure we're not missing any of the action anywhere else. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd want to take this fight as uh, Austria at this point in time. Even some more heavy cav from the Imperial Guard charging in. This building has fallen to the enemy. Get a little stabby stab into him. But obviously, quite a lot of infantry and cavalry here. Austria not backing down, isolating this one Saxon line with the Imperial Guard. Maybe trying to go for quick hitting, you know. I wonder if this is, uh, uh, what, man, I, have a, I feel like I'm so rusty in this mod right now, guys. I can't even remember the core name for, like, the Austria that does such a, I, I'll remember it, I'll, I'll remember it. Hiller, Hiller, oh my gosh, can't believe that. Lichtenstein or Hiller? I feel like one of those two. I feel like maybe it's a coordination of both. We have horse artillery, interestingly enough. Running really close here. Cavalry, though, charging in. Infantry gonna pour in some volleys. Some nice looking charges once again. Asar is gonna try backing them up. They do form a square. What a beautiful battlefield, though, guys. What a beautiful battlefield. And, yep, here we go. This may be Liechtenstein with some Grenadier columns. And we do have some cavalry trying to defend their Saxon Grenadiers. As you can see, Austria have formed... Oh, my gosh, no. Oh, no. Look at the columns, though, guys. Look at all the Grens. And more Cav. Austria is really on one. Now, there is a movement happening, but nothing really, guys. That's why I'm not bouncing over. Keep my eye on the map. Don't worry. I'm not going to let you guys miss out on the center action, which is kind of where France seems very strong. We have, obviously, we got some cavalry from the Imperial Guard pushing up here. Does look like, though... Ooh, Saxony's getting 
Oh my gosh, Saxony's just getting mobbed by cavalry and infantry. Just an insane amount of Grenadiers and Crossiers and Dragoons and Chevaliers. France though sending in some of their Imperial Cavalry. Canister firing. This looks like the last ditch effort. Austria gonna charge him with some cavalry. We'll see if they get all those guns. I mean, this could be huge if they can break the Saxony. Yeah, this, this may be the end for this uh, seven pointer. Bernadotte may uh, be basically all but gone. And I don't know where. Okay, there is some more of the Imperial Guard. He does have cavalry and infantry. Um, the real question is does Austria keep pursuing this? Do they keep pushing this? Because if they do, their center may eventually get isolated here. Oh, we got. Man, Bernadotte just getting trapped on an island here. It's an interesting uh, map for this. The rest of France kind of biding their time. Getting all their troops in position. Now, keep in mind, guys, they're still a sizable si uh, part of Bernadotte's force. Obviously, the general, unfortunately, stuck on his own. These brave grenadiers are going to try to hold him off. Try to defend their brave leader. Probably not going to be enough. Being totally honest here, guys. And Bernadotte's going to sell his life dearly. We can still see Austria. He's pushing. He is still pushing. Now, maybe that one of these armies is going to split off. I mean, France is going to run around. I'm assuming he's just going to run around. He has a nice choke point he could actually hold here. You would even get artillery set up here to just puncture through any advancing lines from Austria. Kind of a nice position. They can easily defend. Oh. We have maybe some engagement now happening over here. It looks like there's cavalry scouting this side. Yeah, we have some Chasseur Cheval. Just a lot of choke points, making for an interesting, interesting battle. A lot of artillery set up here. Bernadotte has fallen. And Austria is going to kind of just peace out now. He's like, well, you know, I dealt with that side. Um, let's pull back to, you know, the center fight. Um, I think the numbers, numerically, the numbers are in favor of the Austrians, the Austrian coalition. Um, there's a 27, an army of 2,700, I'd say that's yeah, rounded up, 2,800, 2,000, 2,214, or 1,500 men. So, versus the Imperials who have an army of 672, 16, or 1,700, 2,700, and, uh, well, Bernadotte's almost gone, so there was 1,400, but, you know, he's lost a decent chunk of that. So there's definitely a numerical difference on the field here today, guys. And I'm interested to see what the Imperials do um, with that difference. Now, they probably have some good quality, but they're just kind of biding their time. And Bernadotte got a decent chunk of his cavalry away. So he is not out of this fight. He still has some infantry and cavalry. So actually, I don't think the losses are as severe as maybe previously thought. So I'm interested to see what they do with this. Got some skirmishers who are going to get charged here. Artillery firing. What are they doing? Oh, they're trying to save their cavalry. I was all curious. Like, what are they running away for? But this may take a while now to formulate the next part of this battle. A lot of artillery going to start just dueling it out. Wait, I hear our cavalry again. You got these poor skirmishers. Chasseur Cheval just going to slice and dice. Although, actually, they're wavering. Probably because artillery... Oh, running, so they'll come back. They'll come back. No, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. They're going to come back. 
they did light up a lot of coalition guns so let's see if they can get some snipes i do see one unit getting shot up other unit trying to get in position i would just unlimber them right there let's see if they can get some uh some limber snipes they do that is huge guys that may break that gun yep it's gonna break that's huge and they're super susceptible to uh you know the limbers thing obviously we have the other austrian gun shooting now i'm not sure where they're actually going for looks like over here oh the guns are gonna sneak on the flank i try to snipe these next it's all about counter gun counter battery right now this may be a bit of a long drawn out fight for a little while guys until someone makes a commitment now if we look at the LOCs pull up this mini map if we do look at the LOCs here it does look like the Imperials have the four, a two, a one, and tell me they have these ones in the back. Um, a two, two ones. I think the Coalition need to take something in order to win by LOC victory. That's the thing about this map. If you see, um, you know, that's six, that's ten points, right? Sorry, I can't do math. Nine points versus eight points that the coalition technically have so the coalition are gonna have to make a move that's why austria is probably biding their time waiting um the only place that the coalition can really push is either over here which actually um with this scouting chasseur cheval they are seeing an austrian force pushing down this way that's gonna be a problem um that's gonna be a flank they're gonna have to watch out for now they don't have to devu can react wherever um he can pull back the side i honestly think bernadotte with some of the imperial guard could probably hold this side although this is their four pointer they have to hold this guys they have to hold at some point along here and the problem is austria could keep pushing take this four pointer and then just sit right here at this choke point and they will win the game by loc so the coalition you know they have an advantage to a certain degree we have a amoeba <laughs> Just Davu's mass amount of infantry just sitting here. I'm sure they're going to react to, you know, a movement at some point. But uh, I may fast forward here, guys, unless something changes in the near future. I'm just going to fast forward so we can actually see, although it looks like we may have some action, just a rear guard action, the Fusilier Grenadiers defending the rear of the army. They can form a square. They have some good melee morale. They're going to be, uh, they have some Polonaise Lancers helping defend the rear. That's a beautiful map. And look at this. It's quite quite beautiful. Nice spot to pitch a tent, you know, if there wasn't troops around fighting. A nice spot to pitch a tent. And uh, you know, enjoy probably some beautiful scenes. I'm assuming Davu's sitting in reserve. I mean, like I said, a weird kind of a weird formation, but I'm really hoping that's not a glitch um, with, you know, if I did a different file somehow. But we do have Austria forming up here. Hitler, I would guess, in Liechtenstein here, as well as obviously the other Austrian armies. They are going to be pushing forward, or at least forming up to make a push. Obviously, they have to make some sort of a push. The artillery, though, for now, guys, is what's really, you know, setting the mood here. Chevaliers getting just shot up by artillery. They don't have to pull them back. They have to. And here we go. Davu is reacting. I was really worried that was going to be like a glitch or, you know, something. We're just sitting, you know, waiting. Waiting, and obviously... We have sighted quite a large Austrian force. 
This looks like killer. Honestly, this looks more like killer. The killer. Killer the killer. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna have some good units in this army. The Deutschmeister. Um, uh, dude, I'm trying to think of the other ones. There's really good units. Deutschmeister comes to mind. They're obviously a very dominant unit um, of this core. It does look like Davu is going to be tasked with defending the flank. Looks like some horse artillery from Davu is already set up. Cavalry defending. I'm curious what they're going to do, you know. They're going to try to harass the enemy for a little bit. More cavalry here from the Imperial Guard. Are they going to go for an all-out attack? I'm really curious here. What's the strategy? It doesn't look like they have a whole lot. They have a couple units of, like, some grenadiers and light infantry over on this side. Are they just going to kind of do a delaying attack? You guys missed. You guys missed. This is a pretty serious attack that's, you know, formulating in a very lar large open space. Um, yeah, I, th I think they got to react to this in some degree. I mean, maybe they're just going to pull back and then let the guns take the wheel. I mean, for now, it's a very good position for them. Looks like Bernadotte may use his cavalry to be defensive and form up here. Maybe go on the offensive. At least scout, because Austria may just be, you know, leaving a small diversionary force and consolidating in the center. Gun battery still firing constantly. I got some good kills so far. But excellent position. Just absolutely perfect for their guns. Impatrice. Renadier Cheval. They do. I mean, actually, they get some good kills the closer they get, but I'd probably be limbering up this artillery now, trying to, you know, get out of there sooner rather than later, because Austria is pushing. You know, obviously, this is where they want to make their their push right now. I'm seeing a little bit of cavalry meeting up with Bernadotte on the far side. Maybe some cavalry clashing. Yep, Austria sent in uh, some cavalry. It did break a musketeer, but broke mutually as well. That's poor line infantry just taking artillery shots constantly. Yabu may be actually pushing up over here. They may be going for a flank while there's a like if there's an Austrian army in each flank. Maybe their center is weak. Maybe that's what they're thinking. You know, just trying to think out loud of where they're at. We do have all oh, the artillery gets murdered. Unfortunately, well not murdered. They do die valiantly. Asar is getting chased down. They're gonna make a hasty retreat. They're a lot faster than the Austrian cavalry. And they should be able to get away. Oh, there's cavalry way in the back. Oh, they can snipe a general. Ah, uh, there's infantry here. So, yeah, you can see Austria has two generals here, guys. They may be shifting a significant force here on the flank. We may have Duvu putting it as contingent to stop them. And obviously he has the general as well. But they may be actually planning an attack. Dead center here. They are, they are mobilizing quite a lot of troops. They can break one of the Austrian armies, you know. That could be huge for them. Taken the buildings up. Still a lot of uh, Austrians over here, so, you know, it's not over and done yet. This cavalry just trying to scout out the Austrian position. 
they can figure out what their plans are, even though I'm pretty sure right now we can probably tell what the plans are. Our men are running, sir. It looks like artillery finally breaks one unit. But a dozen more are taking its place. As we are seeing a very, very definitive movement in this center. We have a France going on the total offensive. Austria obviously going to form up to meet them, but... Uh, See, we'll see if Austria can actually hold up against this. They probably can't, and here we go. Cavalry, horse artillery as well, but cavalry's pushing up. This Austria probably is going to have a slight panic attack. Um, nice coordination. You see France pushing on the right and on the left side of this kind of lagoon. Cavalry going to try to go. Ooh, that was a nasty shot with artillery. This Ledoux's not gonna, I mean, this, yeah, they're not gonna make it, unfortunately. They tried going for the artillery because, you know, that would have been a huge win. But still, look at this. Oh, glorious. Glorious, glorious advance of the French. So much pushing in this area. This is what we're in. This is what we're in for, guys. We have some Dragoons charging through here, going straight into the Austrian line. Excellent charge. And the morale wavering is going to start, and this Austria starts just breaking immediately. Now, they do have a lot of troops here, quite a lot, but still, it's all stacked on top of itself. This is going to give France an excellent opportunity to do some beta charges, cavalry charges. You see uh, France is just going to keep pressing forward back into the reserve line. Austria is going to start even shooting their own men, probably. Now he's going to pull out the Dragoons. He has more Ledu as well. But look at the flank, guys. If Austria only had to hold back this one side, he maybe could do that with France advancing on the flank as well. That's going to be huge. Now over here, Austria has to keep advancing. At this point, they've committed too far into that attack to be able to pull back and help out their ally. Looks like uh, some French infantry did break. Square gets formed against the Ledoux. I mean, Austria's not totally unprepared. He's going to give a very stiff resistance. This artillery is actually going to have a field day. Oh, the canister. Uh, our general is under attack. And he's going to pull the guns back. And Austria can potentially start getting some nice shooting off on the French as they're kind of bunched up in this little area. Now, of course, Davu pushing out, guys, getting a nice flanking attack. It's going to kind of nerf a lot of the defense that Austria has. You can see they're mostly stacked over here and don't really have a lot. I mean, there's something. There's something here. So Davu is going to have to face some resistance. Our men are running, sir. The square that's still holding up. Cavalry does break here from Yuzhin. Nothing really here. Bernadotte still... Okay, let's, let's focus for a brief second. I'm sorry, guys. I'm flying all over the place. The diversionary force. These brave Carabiniers, light infantry... They're going to try to, you know, really slow down this advance long enough so they can make a real move over here. Now you can see the columns of assault moving forward by Yuzhin. He has some units just kind of taking some fire out of this Austrian line. The cavalry obviously have gone in as well. 
the men of the team must rest. Oh, they're gonna get point blank fire off on these hussars. Oh, nasty, nasty. And Austria keeps breaking the Ladu, keep pressing. Getting on the flank here. Beautifully executed. This whole attack has been quite textbook uh, French offensive. Cavalry harassing the flank, breaking one unit. They do take this LOC. All right, they got stuff. They're not worried about the LOC too much. Oh my gosh. The bayonet charges on the flank, just slowly breaking up this Austrian line. And you can see the mass route that Austria is facing at this point in time. Now there is more Austrians pulling back, probably pulled back through the road to help hold off this line. Nice flanking fire by Austria. Right onto the flank of this 84th. They will take some losses. But you can see that Austria is definitely having a lot of issues here. France is just still really pursuing here. And let's look at a zoomed out view here. So a couple of Austrian units still left over there. Our men are running. Ooh, we got a cab charge. Beautifully done. And France is just queuing up Austrian troops as soon as they make their advance. Look at all the smoke. You can barely see through it. I mean, you see the flash, some muskets still. Looks like some cavalry is charging through. Austria trying to save a bit of their army still. Artillery is now moving up. We do have Bernadotte engaging over here on this flank. Not a lot of Austrians there. Um, it does look like France is going to do their best to hold this two-pointer. As Austria is advancing, they have artillery set up. A nice, nice defense position to defend their rear while they continue to press the attack. And doing an excellent job still, guys, of uh, really trying to make sure the Austrians are divided. Divide and conquer. This is a textbook French Napoleon strategy of consolidating the army, waiting for the enemy, the coalition, to split their forces and then attack them in segments. I think it's been very well showcased in this battle. We may have Liechtenstein here now. Lichtenstein's not going to be an easy one to beat. They have cavalry here. Looks like the... Oh, yes. They have good cavalry. The Polonaise. Gasser Cheval. Some elites. Horse artillery looks like it's starting to set up to help out. They're setting up their horse artillery as well. This center may turn into a bit of a feud out here. The Grenadier Corps holding well. But Eugene has mostly won over here and now he's got to shift over to deal with what I can only assume is Hiller pushing the rear so now obviously they have done what they probably planned which is divide and conquer when it comes to that core but they may lose LOCs now they still have plenty of time they have 28 minutes to secure the victory Bernadotte seems to be holding quite well here we got cavalry in the rear actually Bernadotte may get his revenge oh Not a very good charge by Saxony.
But Saxony's gonna keep pushing forward. Trying to do what they can. Oh, we have a cab engagement formulating here. This is for a pretty crucial flank. A flank charge by the Polonaise. The heavy cavalry, the Immortals going in as well. Austria is starting to win this. Austria is starting to lose this and win it. Actually, they're winning. It's like very, very back and forth. Both sides may uh, pull a note. He's going to go for it. Oh, he breaks now. More cavalry, though, charging in. So, France, despite it all. Oh, the cavalry in the back. That Chasseur Cheval sitting in the back. Going for a general. Oh, Austria may lose their general. Now, I'm not sure which general this is. Where is he? There he is. Right there. Is he going to die? Come on. One of you has got to kill him. Oh my gosh, no way he gets away. We there we go. The Alright, well he has been killed by some Chasseur Cheval, which is going to cause some morale issues for this army. France is kind of ignoring the beast in their rear. It looks like Austria may actually just be trying to gun for some uh, four-pointers, some LSCs, and win by LOC victory over here. Bernadotte still holding, using the forest, the tree line as best he can. As Austria has I mean, just a small but yet sizable force to take him on. Bernadotte has their their core is a very small one. Um, their units are very small, cavalry and infantry. It's it's a very interesting core. I don't like playing it because. I make mistakes all the time when I play NCW3. And the thing about Bernadotte that's tough is, you know, you can easily... The punishment for making a mistake is heavy. If you make a punishment, your your infantry will take heavy losses and probably break instantly. You have to be very cautious how you use them. I mean, obviously that Bernadotte playing seems to have done a decent job of uh, not losing his entire army. Still, uh, even then, that's better than me so far. All right, so we still have, it looks like, a Liechtenstein's core still intact. Still has some crossiers, some grenadiers, but he is in full retreat. Things are looking pretty decisive, guys, for the uh, Imperials. So, you know, the LK seem to be on the win. For this, guys, keep in mind, this is the first of a tournament. I don't think I mentioned at the very beginning. This is a part, the first battle in a tournament that NGW3, the Lords uh, community, hosts a ton of clans playing it. I actually have several of these battles lined up. So I'm really excited to showcase those with you guys, watch them with you. These are all genuine reactions, guys. I don't watch these beforehand. Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe it's a good thing. I honestly don't know. But I like just experiencing them with you. I think I can usually pre screen the battle results or at least talk to. I usually can at least talk to people that played in the battles enough to know if it was a total wash, you know, or if it was actually decent. And three units of Imperial Guard hold back Pillar. That is a real question. And LLCs are starting to get taken. Oh man, the brave defense of the regiments. Pilliers. Fusiliers. And more Fusiliers. Just granted, I mean, a lot of really good stuff, but it's not a lot of it. And it does look like France is totally fine with not chasing down Lichtenstein. He's nabbed a lot of LOCs. If you start to look on the field, a four pointer is held. The two-pointer is held, another two-pointer, another one-pointer, and they're going for this other four-pointer way in the back. So, they're going to be set. Um, obviously, like I said, there's still time left. It's time for the Coalition to still make some decisive pushes. 
and uh, change the course of this battle. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I guess we'll see pretty soon here. You just hit the fast forward button. Although it does look like, yep, we have actually a, we don't have to fast forward. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I've, I've, I've been calling this one Hiller. It, it, it looks like Hiller. Moves like Hiller, fights like Hiller. The core. Yeah, I would hold those guys in there to the, to the death. They are trying to make these guys take some pretty heavy casualties. Ooh, it's working a little bit. Our men are running. Poor Grenadier is getting the brunt of this fight so far. Man, that's rough. Brave souls. Taking some pretty heavy losses. Yeah, it does like we may have. I'm gonna guess Deutschmeister gonna go in for a melee. Reinforcements are arriving though. Taking the buildings up. Looks like the other four pointer taken. Yeah, I mean, the, the Imperials are looking even better when it comes to the in, overall. Nice support by the 112th. They're going to keep, uh, you know. Fighting. Look, at, look at those two Grenadiers just standing in the open doorway, just firing down on this Austrian line. Oh, the brutality of this close quarters combat is starting to tell on both sides. Look how close they are. Look how much units are dropping so quickly. Oh, the officer's gonna get a pistol shot off. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they break one. Firing canister. Austria still pushing here, but looks like uh, those fusiliers are gonna be able to go and help and support. Flanking charge by the Chasseur Cheval. Trying to strike fear in the back ranks here. They break one. They're going to break. They're going to break. Still, they are going for artillery. They're going for infantry. They're going for anything that can start shaking the morale of this army. And you can see they're starting to break just against this house. And uh, honestly, that may be it for this coalition. Their army is getting kind of hammered. That's probably one of the most brutal animations for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Getting stomped in the face and then stabbed. Probably one of the most brutal, definitely. Let's see, what's Bernadotte doing? He's just been fighting this, uh, this 
slow retreating fight. Nonetheless important, you know. Just as important as the other fights because he's defending a four pointer. Also, we have an Austrian regiment. That's oh, some light infantry over here, maybe to try to, you know. I don't know if they're hoping to try to get that other four points here, but at this point, guys, yeah, it does look like we have some Austrian troops. I mean, you have a lot of France just setting up around multiple different LOCs. Even over here, they're fighting? Maybe? No. All right, there's, there's no fighting happening there. It looks like... Yeah, I mean, the, the Imperials have LK, the definitely have won this match. And of course, I will double check and then to make sure I still have these cores or these uh, clans right. Yeah, the LK clan is going to take the win in this fight. They out, honestly, it wasn't like the coalition even played bad. They just got outmaneuvered. Um, they still played well. It was just some uh, really cool maneuvering that just helped Imperials consolidate and then attack. And I was curious when I saw Davu staying center and then starting to shuffle towards this direction. I was like, oh, I bet we're going to see some sort of an attack. I honestly thought they were just going to push the flank, but I guess, you know, you, it's better to push both sides. And it worked out beautifully for them. This attack got a little bit stonewalled at first. Just because Austria had so many troops around it, but hitting them on the flank... Even with reinforcing, uh, you know, Liechtenstein pushing up, it wasn't good enough to be able to stop the Austria from breaking. But beautifully done. Beautifully done. I love those kind of maneuvers. The men of the teams are a must restaurant. Oh, the officer. Look at him. Oh, no, he's gonna get away. Yeah, if 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 uh, Bernadotte just hangs out by this LOC, they should be fine. They have some Imperial Guard units. No worries there. Last ditch effort. We've taken the building, huh? This is, this fight has been brutal for this house. You can see the dead littering around this area, even inside the LOC. And the last fight here. Nice little defense here. Bernard has two troops. He's kind of shooting down this alley. You got more infantry pushed down this road. It's going to be over pretty soon.
Bill got taken too. All right, well, it's definitely de a decisive. Lichtenstein's dead. Um, this is the only fight that's kind of left. We're just kind of checking it out, I guess, as it's, as it's formulating. Yeah, cavalry is gonna charge, counter charges today. Ooh, nice, nice flanking charge though. And a counter charge on the flank. Oh, the grenadier is going between the houses. And cavalry charging here. This is it. I think it's the battle. Uh, there's a general right here. This is running around. I only see one or two units there. They're gonna once they kill a general, it's over. Um, it doesn't look like there's the one or two units trying to maybe go for some LOCs, especially the four pointer. That's kind of a concerning one. Ooh. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. I don't know if they'll make it. Yeah, they're not gonna make it. Yeah, they they should they should hold that pretty easily. Um, they're probably tired, but they're gonna break there. And then there's two units left. What I'm gonna do, guys, I'll just skip to the end results so we can uh, see the kills here of this LK Imperial of Victory. All right, guys, so the battle's over. Um, this one, I'm trying to remember who sent this in. I could probably look at the general and a good hint. Yujin, uh, sent in by the Yujin player. Um, you can see he did really well, man, especially with the 92nd. 406 kills, then the Grenadiers, 294. A lot of over 100 kills with some of his units. Um, but let me pull up the actual results here. So you can see on the French side, we have Melkor. He got 801 kills. I believe he was playing the Guard build. You have Crusader as Bernadotte. Um, 652 for the kills. Hossack, um, he was playing as Davu. And he got 1517 for the kills. And then Sigismund, um, he was playing the Yujin, and he got 2522 for the kills. On the other side, you have for the Rheinbund clan, Hiller was played by Le Shang with 794 for the kills. Uh Gord has played Deet. That's all I see on there. Those of you who understand that. 714 for the kills. You have Andre. Um Cow, cow, but he had 663. Then Hajj with uh, Liechtenstein with 1238 kills. So you know some some. Uh, I may have mixed up my uh, Hiller and Liechtenstein on the fighting, to be honest. But you know, who truly cares? I'm not a I'm not a genius when it comes to this game. No, I was kidding. Uh, but anyway, guys, that'll be the battle. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you all so much for joining me. And uh, thank you all so much for the support you continue to show on this channel. It really means a lot. I really do appreciate it. Um, until next time, guys, you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.